Good evening, Julie. Good evening, Christine. This is August the 12th, 2023. As the last video shows, we had a great day at the, the uh, Community uh, Association's uh, little garage sale today. Yes, we did. We had an amazing, uh, amazing day. Uh, that was fun. Fun, you know? excited, yes. You know, it was fun for the kids, and uh, and I forgot to mention mm -hmm. that that dark figure in the middle of the uh, parking lot, we had a very nice unexpected visit for the kids today. Darth, Darth Vader. Decided Darth Vader, to, yes. Yeah, decided to come and talk to the kids, so they were all excited They were all excited that. about him, running after him, and just, hey, you know. <laughs> so, and of so course, get a blast. And then I had fun. You turned around and said, that's Luke Skywalker. And I had to turn around and correct you and said, pardon me, that's Darth Vader. Don't you know you're Star Wars? No, I don't. That's the problem. <laughs> but, but, that's, but that's okay. No, I know who he is. <laughs> yes, well, you just got a good look at him today. So now you know who he is. There you go. So that was part of the fun that we had. A <laughs> bit of a correction today. And then, of course, we had that accident that happened and yes. uh, yeah. I guess what happened I thought it was an older man uh, that was hit on the street but from what I understand now he was in the car it was an old it was a senior but in the car yeah but in the car but it doesn't matter he's still a human being and well, uh, yeah so he got hit pretty hard well that car by the looks of the car was pretty bad because it spun out the two cars spun out after we heard the crash yes and pretty then dark one of them it was totally demolished in the front end. It ran right into the uh, street lamp, the street lights, and literally <laughs> bent the pole over. So the hydro people had to come and uh, refix the pole and that for quite a while. After. Really bad accident. Really bad accident. But this is some of the things that we see. They come off King Edward and they start even speeding down the, down the streets here as well on the side streets. So if they get a chance so it gets kind of hectic here even yes though, it does it even does. though this was supposed to be a nice quiet saturday forget it <laughs> this was not a quiet saturday no, no you know and they were doing drugs there on the church too yes i you know. know and you see and, them on the steps there they're doing drugs up there on and the so, you know, and, 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 and they're pissing uh, uh well yeah you know like near the church yeah right at the church and uh, you know it's like what you know and they're doing drugs right beside uh, and, and this girl she's half naked the girl you know yeah. Well, she had stockings on, but she certainly has see-through stockings with no underwear on that one. Exactly. Like, a, it's kind of a see-through. Yeah. So that was yes. kind of what we thought was going to be our day. Then we nicely packed up. And, of course, I had my craft table there, and we packed up. And Sylvie was taking us back home. And we, or, well, the lady was taking us back home. And she uh, turned around, and you, we were just stopped at the Shepherds at the light. At the light. And... What happens there? All of a sudden, we look over. My passenger window is open, and we're used to them coming up for the um, uh, for the uh, wanting money all the time and panhandling. But this older woman and you just from the back seat said, "Oh no, I know this woman." Yes, I said, "Oh my God, I don't want to open the window." But I, but after that, though, I did. I was only playing around. So, so anyways, I opened my window. And I said, "Yeah, where are you?" Oh, he says, "She says, yeah, yeah." Anyways, uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? They they drug me and they put uh, crack in my cereal. In, in, in the morning, I said, drugs in your cereal? She said, yeah. And of course, I didn't understand what was being said because this was in French. Mm -hmm. But you and the other lady certainly understood what was being said in French. But it's kind of an interesting coincidence that we're just driving back. And or, and here we are, stopped at the light. We ha And after, she, of course, asked for money. But the first thing she uh, comes out of her mouth, apparently, from what you said in French... Then she comes out and says, well, they're putting crack in my cereal in the morning. And where does everybody eat from the shepherds first thing in the morning? My God, me. I'm the first one there. Yes, but and, we're... Yeah. You know, they follow me after, you know. So this other woman, you said you sort of knew her. She's reasonably new at the shelter as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, she is. But she's always back and forth for Quebec. Got no maybe to here, got no back here. And yeah, yeah. You know, it's just a mental problem. But, but man, does she catch a lot of things around here? Well, it's just so darn interesting and so coincidental that a few uh, videos back, you were talking about uh, powder in the soup on you, as well as... Not on me, in the soup. Well, in, not on you, but in the... Well, it was put on you anyhow. They were trying to get you to yeah. eat the soup with yeah. some powder in yes. it. Yes, yeah, yeah, this black guy, Yeah. and uh, yeah. whatever his name is, but I know who he is. The big shorts and, and yeah, he thinks it's all that, and uh, he's been drugging other girls too. So but they, me, I left. 
So and plus, and uh, it was also this white powder in the in the beer, that as too. well. So we had just talked about this. So it's a very interesting coincidence that this just popped up after we just started videotaping on on some of this stuff. Yeah, so, and, and ten years ago, I, I was so sick uh, with, with water in my craft dinner. You were sick. I was sick like a dog at the shepherd. You know, I just asking. I, I said it's okay. If, you know, yeah, well, you know what? Uh, you know, it's just to boil my uh, my craft dinner. Put some water. So I said, anyways, he, he comes back three days after. I'm sick like a dog. Ten years ago, I craft dinner. Now okay. it's, since it's in the craft dinner, uh, you know, you know, forget it. You know, and with the soup, forget it too. I'm constipated. I gotta go. But it, I was. I just wanted to leave. You well, know, so they won't get me again like they did before. <clears throat> well, like I said, it's uh, it's just a very interesting coincidence at the moment. But I thought it was in such an interesting coincidence, I wanted to put it up for our viewers. So, you know, if this is coming around, or is, are people really lying about this? Or there is no, no, no. But is there really, really, but is there really something to this? There, there, you know? yeah, there's really something to this. And people, uh, uh, they're getting drug at the Shepherd, 454, maybe the will. Maybe Sophie's, but it's everywhere, Christy. Well, and like I said, this is one of the reasons that uh, the shelter shouldn't be here because all these people, if they're getting drugged up for other reasons too, as well as shooting up and everything else, you know, you could not be on the worst possible street. I mean, guaranteed, a number of years ago, yes, the Shepherds was probably a good place to be at one point. One point but, 20 years ago, maybe, but now today it's a different kind of world. We're living in a totally different world from what we lived back in, say, 15 years ago, even. And now, and now it's getting more, more and more dangerous on the street. So yeah. it's really good for us and, I, and best, I think, for not only our area here, you know, but to be for the shepherds to move. I think they really need to get off. The shelter needs to be uh, put in another place or another ward needs to step up and help us out here. You know? Yes, yeah. Because yeah. these are vulnerable people, and when I start hearing stories like this, it's, it really makes people start wondering as well. So I'm going to leave the video there today, Julie, and you take care, and we shall you talk too. to you. And we'll talk and, again and soon. And please, guys, please, guys, uh, build build more housing for them and put them somewhere else. But but you know what, though? Close the shelters as so, soon as possible. Yes. A-S-A-A-P. Okay, and we shall talk to you again soon, Julie. Thank bye you. Bye-bye and take, take care. care. Bye. Bye-bye.